Yeah, what's going on everyone? Ethan here. Uh, it's been a while, but I figure since it's such a nice day outside today, I'll go ahead and start painting this front lip that I've had for a little bit. Finally stopped raining, so now I'm gonna start painting this thing. And yeah, I might record it, I might not. I might just show you the finished product, but for now, this is all I got for you guys. It's pretty, like I said, I sanded it, I sanded it down with some 400 and 600 grit sandpaper. This is my little device I'm gonna be using right here. As you can see, this tape will hold up this like that so that I could paint it pretty evenly. But it feels pretty good. I'm gonna go ahead and start painting. I might start, I might sand this down a little bit over here. Maybe not, it's, maybe like right here, it feels kind of rough. But anyways, I'll see you guys in a bit. All right, what's going on guys? I'm back. I just finished painting this thing, this uh, front lip. Looks pretty good for a rattle can job. I don't know if you could tell. There's a little bit of orange peel, of course, because it's a rattle can. Um, but I'm just gonna, tomorrow, I'm gonna let it sit overnight, and then tomorrow I'm gonna wet sand it and buff it. I might throw it on the car first before I do that, just so it might be easier. I think it would be easier. The clear cut turned out great. So this is like um, two coats of primer, kind of two coats of base coat, two to three, like two and a half, I guess. And I didn't get too much clear coat on this part, shit. I didn't even do that. And uh, about three coats of clear, of 2K clear. So you, can, you might be able to see well, it looks very good on camera, <laughs> but in person, there's a lot of orange peel. There you go. There you go. You can see that. But, hey, for a rattle can paint job, it looks pretty dope to me. Um, I mean, not professional yet until I, until I cut and buff it, but maybe it still would look like I rattle canned it. I mean, it looks very good to me. So I just washed my car. I'm gonna take you guys over there so you can see what I've done to it. Really just got some new wheels that I want to show off. And yeah, this is gonna look pretty cool on, on the car, I think. Alright, so I just washed it. It looks pretty, it's looking pretty clean. I still need to make a new rear diffuser for this car. I've been putting it off for a while just because I don't have the materials right now. Uh, but I want to make it look pretty cool. Um, so in the future that'll come, I'm not, I'm not sure when, maybe a few weeks or so. And then I got these new wheels. Let me turn the brightness up so you can see them. They are 20 by 8.5 and 20 by nine in the front. These are STR 607s. Uh, I'm running a 315, 3020 in the rear and a three, I think a 345. I think of, yeah, I think a 345, 30, 20 in the front. Uh, I got rid of the old wheels. I, I've been saying for a while that I really want like a new a five spoke for this car and these are the ones, these are like kind of like my dream wheels for this car. And the opportunity came up. I got them for like 250 bucks. And I had to buy a new one for the front because one of the fronts were bent. So that was like, I don't know, like 270. So total a little over $500, but that's not bad for a full set of staggered wheels. And yeah. So I'm gonna cut till tomorrow when I'm gonna install that lip and I'll see y'all in a bit. Sheesh. All right, what's up guys, Ethan here. As you can see, I got the lip on the car. Uh, it was probably like a three out of, no, probably, well, 
for most people. It's probably like a two or three out of five difficulty to put this thing on. You do have to cut a lot out of, uh, hold on. You do have to cut a lot of like the lower grill or almost all of it out. Like you could you could pop the lower grill out, but you have to pop or you have to cut out the backing to it. So if you don't know how to use the Dremel or anything, then you might be fucked. Overall, it looks very good to me. Um, so all I gotta do is uh, wet sand it and buff it, but I'll do that tomorrow. Yeah, but anyways, I got this on AmericanMuscle.com. Like I said, I would recommend it if you're looking for something aggressive and something that'll make your car stand out. And I'm going to just get some clips now for a little edit, and I'll see you guys later. Peace.